My daughter was born 29 weeks, um, so quite early. Um, we've been in the NICU since January 5th, so it's coming on five and a half months now. I think my worry going home would be that um, there's lots of different bugs and different things out in the community and for Annalyn to catch one of those things. Measles can be a really nasty infection. You can also get bad gut infections. And in some cases, again, it can cause complications in the brain. And it's the younger children under three months of age who uh, get the worst disease. And also in the children who have cancer and who've had transplants. Andrew was uh, happy and healthy and up until he was about 12 years old. And then he was suddenly diagnosed with a heart condition that was very serious. Four weeks later, he was receiving a heart transplant here at the hospital. And then about 19 months after his heart transplant, he uh, got a diagnosis of cancer. Protecting Andrew from illness is pretty top of mind all the time. When it comes to things like mumps and measles and chicken pox, those literally are life-threatening for him. I've had children with, who've had transplants and are on immunosuppressive therapy so they don't reject the transplant, have come into contact with others with chickenpox. The virus can spread to their lungs, to their liver and to their brain and have made them very, very sick and ended up in intensive care and one child unfortunately died from, from chickenpox. Vaccines protect not only you, the individual, but everyone around you, your family, your friends, kids at your children's school. If you care about your community, you should be vaccinated. There are some parents and caregivers who are hesitant about vaccinating their children. I think the reasons are complex and different from one family to another. I think they should seek out answers to their questions from reliable sources of information, um, which is usually the healthcare provider or the public health immunizers. Vaccines are continuously monitored to ensure that they are safe, and study after study shows that they are safe. Not only that, but even after we start using a vaccine, we keep monitoring it to make sure that they stay safe. I would strongly encourage parents to, um, to immunize their kids, um, not just for their own kid to avoid getting sick or potentially being hospitalized, but for kids like Annalyn.